Hey guys, today we're not gonna be working on a ring. We'll be doing something a little different. Today we're gonna be doing some chemistry. Now, as a disclaimer, what you're about to watch, I will be working with some strong acids that can produce dangerous fumes. So don't do this at home unless you know what you're doing because I am also going to be wearing every layer of safety that I can. Now, onto the video. What we are going to do is turn this sterling silver into pure silver. Now these is just scrap shavings I have from working on rings. But this is a scrap lot that I got off eBay. And this was in the same lot. But this is earrings that have diamonds in it. So I'm going to dissolve them separately so that I can get the diamonds. What we'll be doing is putting these in here and these earrings in this beaker. What we're going to dissolve them with though is going to be nitric acid. This is laboratory grade stuff so it's the real deal. So we're going to add this into here, add water, we're going to heat it up some and then we're going to add the acid which will dissolve everything. Alright guys, Let's get ready to go. Now the water I'm using right here is clean distilled water because any contaminants in our water will transfer over to our silver and we want the purest silver that we can get. I separated out these earrings because of the diamonds and also because that they were attracted to a magnet so I knew that they were not made out of silver. From the green color that this acid turns though, I can conclude that these were actually made out of nickel and not the steel I originally thought. Here you can see the metal begins reacting with the nitric acid we just added. The silver turns into silver nitrate and nitrogen dioxide and water, while the copper turns into copper nitrate, nitrogen dioxide and water. So what we get is a mixture of the silver nitrate and the copper nitrate, both of which is aqueous in water, which that means it just gets suspended in the water. That's why I spent a little time to heat up the water so that more can dissolve and be held in the water. That red gas is the nitrogen dioxide. That's the stuff I was talking about earlier that it can be very dangerous to breathe. So this whole time I am in an outside setting with a gas mask and I avoid it as much as possible. This is several hours later. I just let the acid do its thing for that time. And now it's time to t get it out and filter it. Thank you. 
Now I had to add more water and more acid to finish dissolving the rest of the silver. This was the next morning after giving it plenty of time to dissolve it's time to filter out the rest of the solution now it's time to precipitate out the silver from the solution I'm gonna do this by using copper now this works because copper is more reactive than the silver, so it takes its place in the solution. This basically means that the copper will be dissolved and then the silver will crystallize in its place. You can see here the silver has precipitated out of solution. I'm going to demonstrate this by putting another copper tube in there and when I take it out no silver will be on it. This is how we know that the reaction is done. Now it's time to take the solution out of the jar and we have to run it through some filters to make sure we catch all the silver precipitate that comes out. Now that we've got all the solution out of the jar, I put in more solution that has not had the silver removed from it, so we can do the cycle one more time.
I let the second batch sit overnight to make sure to get all the silver out. What I'm left with though are some beautiful silver crystals. You can see them hanging down from the copper pipe and it just looks so cool. It's time now for the second filtering. This time though, we're gonna have to get everything out of the jar. There's still a little copper left and that's what you can see me doing. I'm getting them out with tweezers and then spraying them down with a spray bottle. Get all the silver I can off of them before I move them so they're not in the way. What you see here is after I was done filtering everything. I put it in an oven and then cooked it to dry it fast. I put the silver in the crucible and dug through it with tweezers to get all the copper out. So this is what we will melt down. Alright guys, you just saw the work we did. This was the product of that. Pure silver weighs 103 grams or 3.6 ounces. And last I checked, silver right now is about $17 an ounce. A little bit more if you have the actual silver. Alright guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, like it. And subscribe to my channel, comment anything you think, and have a great day.